Mister! Run, Lloyd! Run for your life! <laughs> hey! You ain't garbage! Yes! Superlative! I was worried, Lloyd! Surprise! What do you think it is this time? Same thing it always is, Kurt. Cream of thud. Cream of thud. Whatever happened to variety? Fridays have become the dreariest lunch days of them all. Not to worry, boys, because Eddie's here to spice things up with a little surprise of his own. You brought your boombox? Indeed I did. Along with the latest disc from Total Cosmic Annihilation. All right! Supreme. Yay, Annihilation! Prepare to rock. Like, please! No immature boy music while I'm trying to eat. Besides, I already brought in some real music for us all to enjoy. Maybe you've heard of Aurora? I cried today when you blasted away in your big shiny rocket ship. Now she's wagging her tail. Cause you're petting her scales And kissing her slimy lips And who's gonna wipe the tears from my feelers? I say Hey! Sorry, Brittany. Normally I'd be too scared to touch your boombox. But this time, you pushed me over the edge. That girl music has got to be the lamest junk I ever heard. Like you are so pathetically wrong, best boy. Aurora just happens to be a genius. A genius in making me sick. You boys just don't get her because your brains are dead from listening to total comic destruction. Excuse me, miss, but that's total cosmic annihilation. And you girls just don't get them because you have crummy taste in pretty much everything. Say what, Nebula loser? These boys are just proving how completely brainless they are by saying total cosmic annihilation is better than Aurora. <laughs> Sorry, guys, but you've got to be kidding. We're not kidding. We're right. No way. Yes, way. TCA. Aurora. TCA. Oh, okay, so quiet. If you boys think you're so totally right, then let's ask someone else. An impartial observer. All right. How about the new kid over there? Zoit. Zoit? <laughs> well, okay, that's fine with us. Allow me. Hey, Zoit. Oh. Hey guys. Hi girls. What's up? Well, you see, we were just having a discussion about music and we want your opinion. Who is so totally better? There's not even any comparison. Aurora. Or total cosmic annihilation. Oh gee, that's a tough one. I guess I'd have to say that Aurora's music is sparse, allowing the themes of suffering and depression to resonate in her lyrics, while total cosmic annihilation is pure power. Their music assaults your ears with the force of a solar windstorm. So there you go. Hope that helps. Aha! See? He likes our music better. Hey, what are you talking about? Zoid isn't a boy. And she liked our music better. Whoa, whoa, wait one second. Not a boy? What? You think he's a girl? <laughs> well, isn't it obvious? As usual, you boys are completely wrong about everything. Just imagine, Zoid, one of them. <laughs> <laughs> one of them could she whatever come on let's go well that's odd how could anyone think that zoid is anything but a boy i thought he was a guy i'm sure he's a guy isn't he of course he is and there's a simple way to prove it let's ask him whoa 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 wait a minute you can't go around asking a guy if he's a guy of course not all we need to do is observe cream of thud it's history and many uses Cream of thud is derived from the sponge-like root of... Our cheese is coming up! Which grows in abundance on Watch for his notebook! If it's covered with monster stickers and hot rods, he's a guy. Anything pink or cuddly, and she's a girl. All right, now take out your notebooks. Okay, 
So Zoid likes monsters and rainbows, but this test can't fail. The bicycle racks? I fail to see how they will help. I hear Zoid rides a bike to school. All we gotta do is wait till he comes out and hops on his bike to go home. Then we can see whether he rides a boy bike or a girl bike. It's as simple as that. Lloyd, you're a genius. Well, in any event, it is a brilliant plan. We'll crack the puzzle for sure. Hi, guys. See you on Monday. See ya. All right, enough fooling around. These gentlemen are public restrooms. If we see Zoit walk through one of these doors, then there will be no doubt whether he is a boy or a girl. But how do we know he needs to go in there? Simple. All we need to do is find him, take him to Zeptar's, and buy him an extra large Frosty Burst. That's right, Zoit, like drink it all down, but only because it's totally delicious. And good for you. Thanks for the drink, girls. That was great. Hey, what's going on here? What do you girls think you're doing buying Zoid a mega-sized Frosty Burst? Zoid looked thirsty. I sure was. But now, if you'll excuse me, I've kind of got some business to take care of. Oh, by all means, Zoid. Of course you're excused. <laughs> Oh, I see. So you don't know if he's a boy or a girl either. Quiet and get out of my way! She's headed for the restroom! Thanks again, girls. That really hit the spot. But you just drank an entire mega-sized Frosty Burst! And then all you did was, like, drink water from the drinking fountain? Well, I don't want to get cavities. But that Frosty Burst was 640 fluid ounces! For the love of Zool! Don't you gotta go? Oh, no. I'm very absorbent. Oh, oh on. I don't get it. Is there some kind of problem? Well, yeah, Zoid. There actually kind of is. You see, the thing is... All right, look. We gotta know. What the heck are you? A boy or a girl? Because the fact is, we just can't tell. <laughs> Oh, that. I thought you knew. I'm neither. But, Zoe, that doesn't make any sense. Or perhaps you misunderstood our question. Let me rephrase it for you. Are you now, or have you ever been a boy or a girl? Nope. That is the freakiest thing I have ever heard. Maybe to you, but not to me. You see, I'm a predilicon, and in my species, we're neither boy nor girl till our 13th birthday. Then each person chooses for his or herself. You choose whether to be a boy or a girl? Yep, and my 13th birthday is Monday. Oh, which reminds me, I better get home. I'm supposed to tell my mom whether I want chocolate cake or vanilla. Decisions, decisions. See you later. Wow, what a position for a kid to be in. On Monday, her life is going to change forever. I get nervous just picking what shirt to wear, and I only have one. Well, she'll obviously choose to be a girl. What? You've got to be kidding. I mean, it's one thing if it's an accident at birth, like with you guys. But if he's actually got a choice? Watch it, you red-blooded freak! Girls rule, and she knows it. Ladies, please, let's be serious. He couldn't possibly resist the carefree delights of a young boy's life. She can if she's not dumb. Oh, yeah! Boys are so cool. Right, 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 it's okay already. If you boys think you're so sure that Zoid is going to pick to be a boy on Monday, why don't you put your money where your big fat mouths are? What are you getting at, woman? I say we have a bet. If Zoid chooses to be a girl, then we win, and you buy us tickets to see Aurora at the Sheapalooza Festival. What do you think of that, huh? Hey, yeah, guys. Or are you too scared? Okay, fine. But if he chooses to be a boy, then we win, and you buy us tickets to see Total Cosmic Annihilation's Lottin' Up the Bruise Tour. How do you like that? A penny saved is a penny earned. Or perhaps you're too scared. You're on. And you're on right back. May the best girl win. Suckers! <laughs> <laughs> I almost hate to take advantage of them. Almost, but not quite. Total Cosmic Annihilation, here we come. Well, boys, it's another glorious Saturday morning. And as usual, I've got big, big plans of how we can waste it through a nothing important at all. <laughs> oh, Zoid, I swear, you're like going to have the time of your life. Brittany? With Zoid? It sure is nice of you guys to invite me out this morning. Well, Zoid, you are the new kid in school, so I think it's the least we can do. Because we're nice. This is going to be such a blast. What was that all about? The girls seem to be treating Zoid to a day on the town. Oh, I get it. They're trying to tempt him over to the girl's side so they can win the bet. Ha! Let them try. One boring day of hanging out with those girls will guarantee he'll want to be a guy. You said it. That's for sure. Without a doubt. Although, maybe we should follow them to be sure. You said it! That's for sure! Without a doubt. You've got to save her, Doctor. I've been searching for her from galaxy to galaxy. She is my soulmate. Kerflicky! Oh, Kerflicky! Can you hear me? My tear glands activated. Tell me, Doctor, 
You wouldn't think less of a man because he cries, would you? No, but Jason, your girlfriend needs rest. You must stop drenching her. She doesn't even remember me, does she? No. Or her family? I'm afraid not. What about Tinkles, her cat? Mm, no. Could you please aim yourself elsewhere? <laughs> oh, girls, I never knew other people's suffering could be so beautiful. Thank you so much for sharing this with me. You're like so welcome. <laughs> Are you guys seeing what I'm seeing? This is the dumbest movie ever. Yeah, but did you see Zoid? He actually seems to be liking it. It just doesn't add up. How could a budding young boy as sensible as Zoid actually fall for such a sappy load of sentimental nonsense? Don't you understand? It's because fate has dealt Kerflicky and Jason a hand of bitter sadness. And who will love Tinkles? Ooh. <laughs> without keeping score? What's up with that? It makes no sense. But Zoe looks like he's having fun. How could he? Perhaps it's the groove, fellows. Intoxicating. Intoxicating. Will you knock that off? Knock what off? Shopping? Ugh, this is the most boring thing ever. Not to worry, Lloyd. Unless Zoid is completely crazy, he'll stop this madness in no time. to say thanks. It's not easy being the new kid in school, and you've really made me feel welcome. Now come on, I want to try some eyeshadow. Oh, so oh man, so we actually like shopping. Is it over yet? I want to go home. Me too, Kurt. But first, we gotta figure out what to do about Zoit. He's had such a good time with the girls, I'm starting to worry that he actually might decide to be one after all. Relax. Tomorrow's Sunday. We'll just take him out for a whole day of guy fun. Once he's seen how a good time is really had, he'll forget this girl nonsense once and for all. But first, what do you think? Does this clash with my hair? Oh, well, hey guys. Zoit, my man. Uh, well, thanks. Come on, pal. Time's a-wasting. There's a full day of male-oriented fun to be had on Intrepidville. Really? Wow, that's nice of you. Just let me get my coat and I'll... We're guys, remember? No coat necessary. Here. That's right, man. You're nifty. Well, well, well. Like, what have we here? The lame brigade is bugging our friend Zoit. Are these boys giving you trouble, Zoit? Oh, no, not at all. The guys and I were just playing a game of pylon. 
pile on, and I missed it. Wait a minute. You don't like icky games like that. Sure I do. It's fun. And hey, the guys and I did all kinds of cool stuff today. You mean you've been hanging out with these dweebs all day long? As a matter of fact, he has. But that's cheating. You're trying to trick him into wanting to be a boy. Well, you did the same thing yesterday. That's different. It isn't at all. Hey, sorry, girls. We've got to have equal rules and equal time. Or as far as I'm concerned, this bet is off. What do you mean the bet is off? <laughs> <laughs> Bet? What do you mean, bet? Uh, did I say bet? You guys have a bet? About me? Um, I actually prefer the term wager. <laughs> so that's what all this has been about. You guys are betting whether I'll decide to be a girl or a boy. That's why you've been so nice to me. You each want me to support your side. Well, no, Zoe. It's not just that. Oh, come on, Lloyd. I'm not stupid. Or maybe I am. Stupid enough that I would actually believe you were my friends. Zoe, wait! Don't go! Oh, man. I feel like a jerk. Not me. I do. We all should. We really hurt Zoit's feelings. It's the fourth worst thing I've ever done. Aw, oh, come on. All we were doing was... Using him as a pawn in our heartless game of boys versus girls? Oh, yeah. Well, there is that. He thought we were his friends. We are her friends. I mean, I like her anyway. Yeah, right. Yeah, really cool. cool. He's a fine yeah. fellow. Oh, I am so totally upset and confused. Because you hurt somebody's feelings? No, because I actually, like, care that I hurt somebody's feelings. Come on, girls. I've got some major thinking to do. Without a doubt. Well, what are we gonna do now? I don't know. I mean, this whole time we've been arguing and trying to get Zoid to be a boy. And all that did was make him miserable. Perhaps Zoid doesn't want to be a boy. But what are the alternatives? Well, maybe he wants to be a girl. He sure did seem to enjoy that girl movie. And when he got all dressed up, he did look kind of pretty. Besides, just think, fellows. Bowing to the ladies, giving them this victory, it would be the chivalrous thing to do. And gentlemen such as ourselves should always strive to be chivalrous. You're right. Whenever it's not too much of a hassle, I do. Then it's settled. Gentlemen, we've got to apologize to a very special young man and make him the happiest girl in the universe. <sighs> oh, hi guys. Uh, nothing personal, but would you mind leaving me alone? Sorry, Zoit, but we can't allow that. Why not? Because you're our buddy, that's why. And buddies don't let buddies sit on asteroids and drift through space alone. We came out here to say how sorry we are for the way we treated you. That... And he gave you a couple of early birthday presents. Happy, Happy birthday, Zoid. Thanks, guys. But how do you know where to find me? We asked your mom. At least I think he was your mom. Please, Zoid. The suspense is killing me. Open your gifts. Go yeah, on, open, open them. Come on. Come on. Okay. Wow, look at this. A quart of Lady Mischief Gill and Abdomen Splash. The man at the drugstore told us it was a truly classy perfume. Well, it's very thoughtful. Now open the other one. I picked it out myself. Hey, big wooden female symbol earrings. Say it loud, say it strong, man. Girl pride is here to stay. Well, that's nice. But why are you giving me girl presents? Because you see, Zoid, we talked it over and we decided you should go ahead and become a girl. That's right, buddy. Hello, girl. Welcome to girlhood, sister. Hey, wait a minute. What's going on here? We're giving Zoid her birthday presents. Oh, like perfect timing. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday Zoid. Zoid. Wow, thanks. Well, open them. They're like so perfect for you. The Big Book of Rude and Stupid Jokes. <laughs> I love that book! We figured. Open the other one. A rock? It's for throwing at stuff. And they're boy things, Zoit, because after thinking it over, we decided that for your total happiness, you should go ahead and become a boy. That's right. Do it, Lumpy. Uh -huh, you really should. A boy? Don't be stupid. She should be a girl. Ugh. As usual, you are so wrong. Wrong? <laughs> wrong? <laughs> Go again, pushing me and pulling me. Back and forth. Be a boy. Be a girl. Well, I've had it. Kai, we were only trying to help you make the right decision. The right decision for you, maybe, but what about me? Oh, yeah. You. Look, I had a great time hanging out with you girls. Shopping, solar-sizing, watching that beautifully sad movie. On the other hand, Chuck and Rocks rocks. And so does playing pylon and having belching contests. So don't you see? Boys and girls are both cool. And that's the problem. Tomorrow, I've got to pick which one I'm going to be. It'll be the toughest decision of my life. But it's my decision, not yours. And if you guys really are my friends, it shouldn't matter to you if I'm a girl or a boy. Because either way, I'll still be me. See you tomorrow. <laughs> Like, 
Is Zoe here yet? Not yet, but we figure he or she ought to be coming through the doorway any second. What's this? You made a banner? We wanted to show Zoe our support. Atta boy? You assume he's gonna be a boy? Oh, no. We've got it covered either way. You go, girl. Fresh. Original. Look, here he comes! Or she! Girls? Boys? Zoe, we're glad to see you. Because we thought about what you said, and we decided you were right. And we still like you, whatever you decide. All we want is for you to be happy. We totally agree. Although, I am like so dying to find out what you picked. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, what you do? Do? You, er, uh, did decide. Oh, sure I decided. And? I've decided I'm not telling. What? But why not? Because it's none of your business. So we'll never find out if you're a boy or a girl? Oh, you'll find out someday when I get a crush on one of you. See ya! Oh man, we gotta wait? Until he gets a crush on one of us? Well, it's obvious he'll get a crush on me. You? No way! She'll get a crush on me! What are you squawking about? I'm a dream come true! What are you kidding? You're kidding! Oh no, what are you doing?